the Logos library is the container or the database that holds all of your books and resources. And we access it by clicking on the book icon right here. Now, when this drop down window opens up, your library may not look like my library. It's all going to depend on the package that you have and the resources that you have purchased. For our purposes today, we're going to look for a specific type of a resource called a commentary. A commentary gives us a little bit of information. It contributes to our study by painting a picture, uh, giving us a perspective on the text from someone who has sat and studied that text intensely. And it's going to give us some background on the language. It's going to give us some background on the setting, on the context, on the purpose, on the author. All these kinds of things are going to help us to understand the text further. For our study that we've been conducting, we want to look for a commentary on 1 John. So in the search box, we type the word commentary. And then we can narrow it down. You'll see that all of the commentaries that are available to you within your system are shown. We'll limit it by typing 1 John. And we then see displayed what commentaries we have available to us. Each of these has a little bit different strength. I'm going to select the New American Commentary here. I like this for this purpose. So you do so by finding your item and clicking on that item, and it opens up right there. Now, this is covering up our text. So what I'm going to do is drag this over here to the right and drop that down there. Uh, for our purposes, we don't need the highlighting window right now, so I'm going to close that. And what we have is the first page or the introduction page of our commentary. Now, we'll notice something that as we scroll up and down, as we click on different parts of our text, we would have to go and manually search for that within our text. And there's a lot of introductory material before we got to uh, this section that we want to find. An easier way to handle this is to use the link set feature built into Logos. I know we've mentioned this before, but it uh, does us well to use this example here. So we've been studying this passage, 1 John 1, 8. I just love this passage. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But... But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Now, a link set is a way of us tying one resource to another resource. So what I'm going to do is click this little tiny arrow right here. And you'll see that my link sets are available. Let's just uh, select A. We'll click there. And you get a little A right there. Now, this resource is not linked. So what I'm going to do is click here. I'm going to click A because that's the resource I want to tie. Now, you notice that the context of the commentary has changed. That's because it has linked to the Bible that I'm studying. Now, as I go and move through 1 John... Come down here, another favorite passage. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. And we see that it's not exactly in the same place, but it's close to where we've left off at the top up here. But you're a lot closer to what you want to find within your text. So you see that that link set ties the two resources together. So as you move in one, you will move in the other. Now let's take a little deeper look at the library and get kind of the lay of the land here. I have expanded the size of the window out. You can do that by grabbing a hold of that corner there and resizing it as you see fit. And we have used the search bar which allowed us to find the commentary that we were looking for. But I wanted to touch on some of these parameters over here. Right now, I have all of the resources in my library viewing or, or being viewed. 
I can limit that down. Uh, for example, personal books. I don't have any personal books in here, so it shows me nothing. Go back to all resources. On the other hand, I may want to look for something uh, that is a particular type of resource. In my case, uh, commentaries are the things that I go to. So I go to commentaries and everything that is tagged in Logos as a commentary shows up here. Again, organized by recent. This is the ordering. This is uh, the filter that is going to show you what it is that you want to see. And, and you can scroll down and see, you know, all the different kinds of things that you're doing here. Let's see what Johnny Max got for us. So there's two books that fall under the John MacArthur series. And right now they're organized by most recent, which doesn't do us any good. And most used doesn't do us any good. So let's grab something else. Let's go back to uh, commentaries. Okay, so these are all of my commentaries here. If I wanted to group these, say, by the set, by the commentary series, uh, I would click title. And this groups them by the title of the um, by the title of the commentary so you see that this whole set the commentary on holy scriptures is all grouped together uh, and that's because they put the title of the bible book after the name here if you look at some of the others you see they're not quite as neatly organized you've got the randall house down here because it's known by the book of hebrews and some of the Randall House up here, 1 Thessalonians, 1 2 Corinthians. So it's not always as useful as you would like it, but the library is uh, allows you a lot of control. It allows you to organize things in the way that you find them most useful, just like any bookshelf would do. This grid icon right here is going to allow you to change the way that the books are seen. I prefer mine to show the covers of the books. You may prefer yours to be shown in this way with all of the tags and such uh, displayed, or you may want all the titles. Now, when you do this, when you display them by titles here, and you click on the um, column header, you're able to organize things according to that column, and you can put different columns up here. We'll come back and talk about these more sophisticated features in a later video. But for now, let's go back and put cover view back up here so we've got all our books. So I'm displaying all commentaries by title right now. This last button over here, prioritization, is going to allow me to define a certain number of resources as my first choices or my go-to for certain things. And this won't really make a difference here in the library. It'll make a difference when we're doing uh, Bible studies in a different manner and when we go and search on a different topic or search on a passage your priority resources are those that are going to be used first. You see here that the little Kittle is my go-to Greek dictionary and the UBS4 is my go-to Greek New Testament. That doesn't mean those are the only ones in my library. It just means those are my preferred resources. When we look in the library, and I showed you the prioritize button in the previous scene, you saw a list of what I have set as my priorities right now, but these may not be your priorities, and your prioritized re. Uh, your prioritized resources may change depending on the type of the study that you're doing. So you're asking, how do I get these resources in here? Well, let's add a commentary and uh, we'll just stick with the one that we selected for First John. So let's type New American and we get about that far. And there's the whole New American series. Now, these are all of the New American commentaries that are in my library. So I'm just going to grab one and I'm going to drag it over there, drop it in there. Now, 
What it's done is bring the entire New American Commentary series in as my prioritized commentary. If I decide that that's no longer what I want, remove it and be done with it. Another thing that might be useful to me in our current Bible study is a Bible dictionary. So let's work backwards. Let's clear everything. Go back to all resources. And I'm going to say Bible Dictionary, just to get that type of resource. I like the new Bible Dictionary, and so I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to make it a priority over here. Now, whenever a prioritized resource is a part of search or the development of a study, um, that is going to be the go-to dictionary that's going to be utilized. And you can grab the library and drag it over here, put it wherever you want, so that it's always open and available to you. I don't know that you'll find that necessary, but it is a feature of the Logos environment. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you like these videos, uh, consider subscribing to us below. And if you like this one in particular, hey, give us a like so that more people will come to know um, these instructive videos about Logos. God bless.